Hey everyone, welcome to another limited color palette video. Today we are going to color this sketch using these three colors. These three colors are from the brand Blocks. This is Gumbosh PY6. This is Primary Blue PB15 colon 3. This is actually Thalo Blue Green Shade. And this is Crimson Lake PR264. A few years ago, Blocks sent me some colors in half pens to test them out. I haven't been able to finish using them. So over the next few weeks, I'll be creating the limited color palette videos using these colors. This color here, Crimson Lick, um, somehow the paint was too wet and it flowed out of the box. So I want to clean this up later. Let me quickly create some swatches on the side here to show you how the colors look. So this is Gumbosh PY6. This is Primary Blue PB15-3. And this is Crimson Lake PR264. Let's go ahead and create some secondary colors using these three colors. So I'm going to create an orange. So this is Gumbosh mixed with Crimson Lake. I think my brush may be a bit dirty. Let me wash this properly. So this is Crimson Lake. So my brush is definitely dirty. And this is Gumbosh. Next, let's use Gumbosh with Primary Blue. So I'm going to let the colors mix on the paper. So we have this sort of green here. And lastly, let's mix Crimson Lake with Primary Blue. This is much stronger. And with Primary Blue, we get something like this. We get a nice purple. Not as vibrant, but um, still pretty nice. And if we add the three colors together, um, I don't have any more space. So let me just paint here, uh, see what will happen if we mix the three colors together. Um, never mind, we'll show that in the sketch later on. So this is the sketch that I have drawn using a pencil. I want to use a pencil because I want to simplify the sketch. This is the reference photo. As you can see, it's quite complicated. If you want to check out the photo, the download link will be in the video description below. It's a pretty cloudy day, so I'm going to leave the sky white. So let me start by using new gumbosh and paint the roof here. Let me add a little bit of crimson lick to give it some variation. This watercolor sketchbook that I'm using is actually the Hanamole watercolor book. This is 200 GSM paper. I may have used too much water here, doesn't matter. So let's paint here and here. And now I want to mix a gray to paint all these areas here. So for the gray, I'm going to be using new Gumbosh Primary Blue. This will give me a green. And mix it with some Crimson Lake. So this is the sort of neutral tone I can get. Let me just paint it here. Oh, this is supposed to be gray. So let me just paint everything gray. So I added some blue here. Now if we take a look at the reference photo, we can see that this part here, this is yellow. But because I only have new Gumbosh, it's impossible for me to get that yellow. So I'm just going to use new Gumbosh to paint that bottom area there. I'm going to dilute the new Gumbosh to something that is very light. This looks like a brown to me. Now I'm going to use new Gumbosh and primary blue to mix a green. So let's see what sort of green we can get. Now this 200 GSM paper, it's starting to buckle. So this area of the paper, it's lower. So the paint, the water, it's collecting there. For the area here, I'm going to have it blue blend into some purple, something like this. 
And now I want to mix something black. So I'm using a lot of phthalo blue. This is almost green. You can sort of see the green. So let me add a bit more crimson lake to that. This is very challenging because there is so much details. Realize that this part should be yellow as well. The bottom here is, is supposed to be in shadow, so let's paint that. This is a combination of the three colors. Very challenging. Let me make this car a bit darker. See the paper or the graphite, it's repelling the paint here. And now let me just dry the brush and use the crimson lick to paint the lanterns. So these are the different types of mixes you can get with this limited palette. So here I mixed the uh, three colors together, but this has more red to it. So this is a nice neutral warm gray here. Here I added a bit more of the primary blue, so it turns a bit more grayish. If I add a lot of phthalo, sorry, a lot of primary blue, which is actually phthalo blue and crimson lake, I can get a color that is really dark. You see this area here, this is close to black. You have to add some new gumbosh to primary blue and crimson lake in order for it to become black like this. If it's just primary blue and crimson lake, there will still be some tint of uh, purple, something like this, or something like this. You can still see the purple inside. So for the roof, it's gumbosh and crimson lake. I think it's a nice combination. You can get nice orange. This is the really challenging part because all the details, they are squeezed into the, this tiny area here. New gumbosh added with some red and blue. So this is brownish tone, rather diluted because I use a bit more water. The green here, this is new gumbosh with phthalo blue or primary blue. You can get a nice dark green. And if you add crimson lake, you can get really dark shadows for your greens. I would consider this to be a rather versatile palette. So if you want a warm orange like this, um, you can get it with gumbosh and crimson lick. If you want greens, you can get it with gumbosh and primary blue. The greens, they look pretty nice. If you want greens that are a bit darker, you just add a little bit of crimson lick and you can get something like this. Purples, while well, they are not as vibrant, this is actually a bit dull, but still recognizable as purple or violet. Crimson Lake, well, at first glance, I wouldn't say that this is like a red red. So once you add a little bit of new gumbosh to it, you can see that Crimson Lake, it turns red like this. It's really beautiful. The limitation of this palette would be, well, you cannot get a clean bright yellow, something like lemon yellow or Hansa yellow medium or Hansa yellow light because we only have new gumbosh here. And because you don't have that yellow, it's quite difficult to mix those bright yellow greens. The only greens we can get would be the warm green. And another limitation is the purple because this is a cool blue and this is sort of like a cool red. Um, to get bright, vibrant purples, you need a warm blue, something like ultramarine and a cool red. So here we have two cools, um, so we get something like this. So the, those would be the limitations of this palette. All right, so that is all for today's video. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.